everyone, I'm Faith. I am bouncing with you today from an amazing art gallery in Evanston in Chicago, surrounded by incredible work. Um, if you ever have a chance to bring your Bellicon to an art gallery, I highly recommend it. What we're going to do today is a little bit of a hit circuit. So go ahead and step on your Bellicon if you're not already there. Begin a light bounce just like I'm doing, just something comfortable and relaxing. Keep your feet on the mat and just start to find nice alignment. So I'm going to tell you while we're warming up with this light bounce a little bit of what a HIT circuit is. So it stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And the idea behind it is that you can work out for very, very, very hard for a short period of time. So for those of you who have very, very busy schedules, um, a lot of things to do in the day, this is a really efficient and great way to get a workout. It's especially great on your Bellicon because the mat absorbs a lot of the shock. So you can go high intensity without all the wear and tear that you might find on the concrete or on the floor. The way that it's gonna work is we're gonna go 45 seconds on everything you possibly have and then 15 seconds of active recovery. The active recovery will literally be exactly what we're doing now. It'll just be bouncing and that's a good way to just catch your breath, recover your system, relax for a moment until we get right to the next circuit. So we're gonna go for seven minutes, which is a nice, really quality, good starting time to get these, um, these beginner circuits moving. And you can always go a little bit longer than that, but with the high intensity interval training, you really don't wanna go for very, very, very long periods of time. The idea is to keep it short, quick, and efficient. If you go for long periods, it then starts to actually have a worsening effect on the body and not, um, not as positive effect. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we will get rolling. Um, just start with some shoulder rolls, nice and easy. We're gonna get our clock going in just a few seconds and we're gonna go for 45 seconds on. Everything that you possibly have, we're gonna start with a run. Find your core, find your breath. We'll get ready in five, four, three, two. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, one. Everything that you possibly have. A great way to warm up. Drop your shoulders, catch your breath, and relax your feet. Go as fast as you can. I just see steam coming off your belly Make sure you're breathing. Have fun with it. This is a great way to push yourself. It's also great if you don't have a lot of time in your day. Because seven minutes, who doesn't have seven minutes? That's a quick, easy workout. But remember, for this to be effective, you've got to give me everything that you've got. Keep it rolling. Find your breath. And rest. So active recovery, 15 seconds. We're just gonna bounce. That can be whatever you want. For me, I like to take more of a little shift. Helps me shift my weight out. You can bounce a little bit bigger. Whatever you need. Breathe, drop your shoulders, catch your breath. We'll get ready for our next move, which is a jumping jack. Ready? And go. So I'm going flex hip position, a little bit forward so that I can go faster. A little bend of the elbows and a big bend of the knees so that I can go faster. I'm thinking of lowering my center of gravity towards the floor. If you're taller, you might find you have to get a little bit tinier with the movement and more compact. Almost there. And recover. Catch your breath. Breathe. Let the air out. Next move is the scissor. So remember, in order to catch this speed, you might have to get a little smaller and a little tighter with the movement. Drop your shoulders, find your core, and go. I'm going one leg front, one leg back. I'm trying to pay attention to my knee and foot alignment. I'm going a little flex at my hips so that I can get faster. Arms are just walking. Nice long spine, try not to hunt. Nice 
stay with it, push yourself just a little bit. It's only seven minutes. Nice tight core, we'll have to get quicker. And rest. Best part, recovery. <laughs> Drop your shoulders, take your balance. Catch your breath. Next move we're going to do is a little side to side. And here we go. Bend the knees, get low. So I'm letting my arms swing. Make sure your knees and toes are pointing forward. Again, I'm a little flexed at my hip. See how fast you can go. Go a little faster than you think you can. This is also challenging your fast twitch muscle fibers. Some of us have naturally fast and some of us have naturally slow, so we'll all move a little bit differently. Challenge it. All right, when I feel myself wheezing, I try to pick it up a little bit and recover. Four moves down, only three to go. Roll your shoulders out. Reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with your core. Next move is a little slower. It's a heel to butt kick. This move can't be performed as fast. Ready, set, here we go. So a little side view. I'm thinking of my heel kicking to my butt. And my arms just run. So this is a little hamstring curl. It's also a little break for my hip flexors. Try to keep nice, even hips. Nice, engaged, tight abdominals. Nice, long neck. Breathe. And then see how fast you can make it. Keep it rolling. The fun, this move is naturally a little bit slower. That's why I put it right in the middle. So you can get a little quicker now. Really squeeze that behind, squeeze those glutes and recover. All right, you guys, doing really good. Relax those shoulders down, pat your breath. Just two more moves to go. Next one, we're gonna get some rotation in so that we move our spine side to side. But we're gonna rotate in a flexed hip position, meaning we're gonna be a little bent forward, a little tighter in our body so that we can move quickly. All right. Timer is ready. Settle your balance and go. So side view again. I'm a little bit pitched forward at my hips. That helps me to get a little tighter to the ground and move a little faster. I'm really thinking of tightening my core so that I can get a quicker movement. Thinking of making my movements a little smaller so that I can get faster. I'm trying to really focus on shoulders down. Go a little quicker than you think you can. It's only seven minutes. Nice tight arms. And recover. Ah. Good news, you only got one move left. That means I want you to give me everything that you have since it's only 45 more seconds. We're gonna run and box. That added arm movement is gonna really get your heart rate pumping. Everything you got. It's the last one. Get ready, go. A little faster than you think you can. Lift your chest, drop your shoulders, find your optimal alignment. So hear those pitter pattering feet on your belly con. And recover. Really nice work, you guys. Thank you so much for bouncing with me. Great circuit. Remember to bounce for just a little bit and recover. Stretch out your chest. Find your breath. 
and with a nice sip of water to recover. Have a great day.